the April Fool's Day tsunami of 1946 struck the northern shores of the Hawaiian Islands, costing the lives of 159 people. A magnitude 8.6 earthquake near the Aleutian Islands off the coast of Alaska generated a roughly 50-foot wave that traveled almost 500 miles an hour across the Pacific Ocean. It took less than five hours for the tsunami to reach Hilo, Hawaii. Some residents saw the signs of what was coming and self-evacuated, while others went towards the shoreline to witness the tsunami firsthand. In the hour immediately prior to the tsunami's arrival, an alert was issued over a police radio in Hilo to begin evacuations. The first surges from the tsunami were relatively small. However, following surges filled the bay with a great big black wall of water that flooded the residential area of Shamanshi and Hilo. The tsunami came ashore with several powerful surges, destroying almost a third of the city. Multiple railway bridges connecting Hilo to the island's sugarcane industry failed, forcing a change to heavy trucks for sugarcane transportation. The Hamakua sugar mill was also destroyed by the tsunami. La Pahoihoi, about 20 miles north of Hilo, was decimated, the local school included, claiming the lives of 23 students, four teachers in the process. Today, a memorial in La Pahoihoi commemorates the events and the tragic loss of life in the 1946 tsunami in stone. One incredible survivor from the 1946 tsunami, a 16-year-old freshman from La Pahoihoi High School, was washed out to sea as the powerful surges from the tsunami receded. Scrambling in the debris, he coddled together a makeshift raft and soon saw fellow students struggling in the currents, barely conscious. He dragged two other boys onto the salvage raft. The currents carried the boys northwest, with nobody knowing their situation, until a search aircraft spotted the boys, dropped them a life raft, two collapsible oars, and snapped a photo. Battling the occasional shark, the boys drifted along the coast. The next day, a small girl spotted the boys off the coastline, more than 40 miles from La Pahoihoi, and ran to get help. Three local men immediately swam out and brought the boys back to shore. All three boys survived. In response to the 1946 tsunami, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center was created to make a standardized and effective warning system for future tsunamis. In addition to the loss of life, there was $27 million in damages. Adjusted for today, that's roughly $340 million. The 1960 tsunami in Hawaii was caused by the largest earthquake ever recorded, a magnitude 9.5 quake in May 1960 that sent destructive tsunami across the Pacific Ocean. After taking more than 2,000 lives in Chile, the tsunami radiated outward, killing 61 people in Hawaii and 122 in Japan. Warnings from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center were issued during the 15 hours it took for the waves to arrive in Hawaii. Tragically, a lack of understanding of the warnings led to the major loss of life when the tidal wave ran ashore in the night. There was plenty of time for evacuation in Hilo, Hawaii, as the Chilean tsunami raced across the Pacific Ocean on May 22, 1960. Although warning sirens sounded for more than three hours before the first waves arrived, the meaning of the signals was not clear, as two-thirds of residents thought there would be further notice to evacuate. When the first waves arrived, only a few feet high, many residents remained in the low-lying areas of Hilo, and some even returned home thinking the danger had passed. Hours later, the darkness was filled by a growing rumbling noise, and soon the sounds of crashing and crunching. Moments later, a nearly 20-foot wall of water hit the houses, floating them off their foundations. The 1960 tsunami destroyed the residential area of Shinmachi in Hilo for the second time in two decades, and this time it would not be rebuilt. Though the dynamic landscape of Hawaii poses its threats, many people still choose to live on the island, and awareness of its dangers is part of the price of living in paradise.